<clears throat> Welcome. We are sitting at the end of the very first month. We are about to enter the month of May. May 2nd, uh, as you can see. We are sitting in 18 and 14. We are not having a very good season. The Dodgers are sitting at 12 and 12. The Diamondbacks are sitting at 11 and 10. Giants, surprisingly, are sitting at 13 and 9. And the Padres are 14 and 8. Uh, the last video we did when we were talking, we were in the beginning of the season. As you can see, we, uh, yeah, we had some very interesting games. Uh, this one, uh, we actually had a very, a very interesting move. Uh, we are, we are bad. We are, we, we're, we're, we're not having a very good year this year. Uh, I can honestly say, because I, I, I actually looked this up before I started recording this. Our starting pitchers combined have accounted for I'd have to look at, uh, I don't, our, our starting pitchers that are on our, that are in our rotation right now have accounted for only five of our eight wins. Yeah, you heard that right. Five of our eight wins. I will actually show you the rotation. Marquez is one and three. Limbaum's 0 oh and three. Mats is one and two. Merrill Kelly is one and two. Kyle Freeland is two and zero. Oh. Uh, we also have Matt Shoemaker in a bullpen who's only been here a little while. There's a reason why Matt Shoemaker is here, and we will be getting into that shortly. So, how did we get here? Well, we got here very simply by realizing that uh, the experiment with Austin Gomer is dead. Dead as a doornail. Dead. Done. Finished. As a matter of fact, we're going to sit here and we're going to show what we did. So, before we left... We got it. We actually got a trade offer, and the trade offer was from the New York Yankees. They were looking for a relief pitcher. They wanted Robert Stevenson, and they offered me Everson Pereira. I I looked at where he was, Pereira, and I looked. I looked at. I basically I looked at the bullpen, and then I looked at them. And I thought, okay, I could drop Stevenson. I could pick this kid up. He's young. He'll work. You know, you know, build up the farm system a little. Thought, why not? Then, then the next day, when we started realizing that the Austin Gomer project was over. We put, we put Gomer, I did a trade finder, and I tried MLB Ready, and I got, a, I got some offers from, I got an offer from the Texas Rangers. The original offer that they were showing me, they were showing me Sheraton Apostle, and then they were showing me one for Nate Lowe. Now, I need a backup second baseman, and I need another third baseman. So I thought to myself, okay, well, why not? I looked at Ryan McMahon, and I thought to myself, if I'm going to pick up Sheraton, I might as well send Ryan McMahon that way too. That way... I'm not, that way I'm not feeling like I'm still like a third baseman just for a pitcher. So, that's what I did. And then we went ahead 
and optioned him to AAA. Bought up Puentes from AAA to the majors. Optioned Piria uh, to AAA. Um, we made a couple of other moves. We moved around some catchers. We moved around some catchers, and we, uh, <clears throat> oh, we were two, well, at the time, I thought I was two players short. Turned out I was one, because I wanted to sign some bullpen depth, so went ahead and I signed Pedro Stroke to a two-year deal. Then, after pulling the deal for Gomer, I realized I've got a relief, I've got, I now have five starting pitchers, but I don't have, like, I don't have that swing starter in the bullpen that I could plug in, say, if somebody's having a bad game or just kind of having a bad, you know, having a bad time. So we went ahead and we just basically went to our A level, found the lowest rated player we had and released him. And then went ahead and signed Matt Shoemaker to a two-year deal worth $5.6 million. Shoemaker basically will play the play the role of spot starter, which was what Kyle Freeland was doing before the Austin Gomer trade. And Freeland moved into the five. We finished the month. As you can see on the calendar, we finished the month. We actually had, let's see, we actually had a very nice shutout by Merrill Kelly, by Mer, uh, Merrill Kelly, as he went and he tossed the whole nine innings, and we won five to nothing. Gave Trevor Bauer his first loss of the year. In that game, we had. Oh, uh, let's see. We had Glaber Torres hit two home runs and drive in five RBIs, dropping hit, uh, boosting his average to 318. Um, we've we we've kind of we've we have then we went ahead. The next game, Kyle Freeland pitched against Walker Bueller. We won four to one. Then we won six six four. Pedro Stroke picked up the win. Uh, but the last game of the last game of the series, which opened up the month of May, Josh Limbaum fell to 0 three as Clayton Kershaw picked up his second one of the year. Now, I've still got some tinkering to do with the bullpen because. Lindbaum and Marquez are not having good months. Or, or they're not having they're not having they're not having a good month. And I'm honestly I'm not sure if it's going to be uh if it's gonna continue or if it's gonna or if it's gonna work itself out. Uh Marquez's next start isn't until we go to Cincinnati. Limbaum's next start isn't until game two of that four-game set against Cincinnati. At this point, as you can see, Cincinnati is 12-9. and nine. Now, it could be a good test. could be a okay test. Maybe a bomb. I don't know. Uh, right now, we're looking at a three-game series with the Cubs that will feature Steven Matz, Merrill Kelly, and Kyle Freeland. The biggest pitcher that I could tell, or at least that I know by name that they are facing, is is uh, Brady Singer. That's gonna, they're facing Brady Singer in Game 1, Albert Alzanti Al Al in Game 2, and then Trevor Williams in Game 3. So, we have exactly 30 days until the draft. And honestly, I'm not sure what's going to happen. Uh, my hope of getting my hope of getting over 500 for the season it doesn't look 
doesn't look that promising right now. I don't know if it'll stay that way. I mean, this team may catch fire and, you know, maybe run off a couple of games. I don't know. That's my hope. But if I'm going to be optimistic and I'm going to be real, I don't know if it's going to happen. I just don't know. So, I mean, it might happen. It might not. I don't know. But we'll see. So, and we also, we do have our AAA squad. They're actually running pretty well. They're running at 11 and 5. And our AA squad will get ready to kick off their season on the 10th. As Ty Colberth will make the season debut for Hartford against New Hampshire. So... That's going to be something to watch. Definitely, for sure. And so, I just kind of wanted to give an update since uh, I haven't updated since after the first game of the season. Or after, the, well, during the first week of the season when, when I had, when I tried to do the, I tried to live stream the Arizona series and that, just they hit a wall uh, honestly uh, well you know what we're right here we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna send the seat we're just gonna send the cub series real quick because I'm gonna pick it up and we're just gonna do we're gonna do this we're gonna hit we're gonna hit up the series with Cincinnati and so I want to see what happens. So we're going to start with game one against the Cubs. A critical situation. Dan Winkler's on the mound. Sam Hilliard's at second. And Mikel Franco's at the plate. We're down by one in the bottom of the ninth. I'm going to see what happens. Okay, so Chris Owings got hurt. Got a bruised arm. Uh, no. We ended up losing the game 4-3. Michael Gibbons. Huh. Michael Gibbons got the loss. Brady Singer got the win. Take a look at the box score and see what happened. Oof. They scored four in the seventh. We got two in the seventh. We were actually ahead until the seventh inning started. Wow. Singer went six. Mads went six and a third. Gibbons. Ugh. Gibbons gave up three runs. Uh, wow. Okay. That explains a lot. Yeah. It really does. All right. Game number two. We lost that one to nothing. Andrew Chafon got the win. Elzer Hernandez picked up the loss. Let's see. Cubs scored two in the eighth, and that was it. Wow. This this is just sad. Ah, Chafon ended up picking up third of an inning. Basically ended up picking, closing out the seventh. And then that was it. Uh, Kelly went seven innings, gave up four hits, walked two, struck out seven. But Hernandez pitched the eighth, gave up the two runs, and basically took the loss. Awesome. And now game three, Kyle Freeland against Trevor Williams. Well, we got a win. I'll be damned. Wins do exist. Okay, uh, Eliezer Hernandez got the win, Rowan Wick picked up the loss, we, oh crap, uh, oh boy, I hit a wrong button. Yes, <laughs> okay. I, oh, 
that was almost became the okay I was trying to look at something and I ended up hitting the wrong button and just ended up hitting the send season button oh damn alright so the win against the Cubs oh, did pretty well let's see uh, Freedom went six, gave up two hits, or two runs. Hernandez got the win. Albrecht got his seventh save. Wick ended up picking up the loss in his second of the year, and Kimball, and Kimbrell blew his second save. Mm. Damn. Mm. Okay, and then the first game of the series... Against Cincinnati, we lost 11-9 because I accidentally hit the button to sim season instead of trying to view box score. Uh, that ended up being clinched in 9. Uh, wow. We just, we got beaten up. We got beat up bad. Yeah, this, this is... Mark, oh my god, what the hell is wrong with, Marquez went one and a third, one and two thirds innings, gave up nine runs off of eight hits, walked three, Shoemaker comes in, throws two third, two and a third innings, walked four guys that gave up one hit. Strope ends up giving up an earned run that ends up taking the loss in two innings of work. Gibbons ends up giving up a run as well. Oh God, this is just horrible. Bailey goes four innings, gives up seven runs. Lorenzen gives up a run and an inning and a third. Oh, Miller, Miller and Sims. Combined to finish an inning, Sims blew the save, but Familia got the win in two thirds of an inning of work. Garrett pitched an inning, and then Doolittle came in and saved it. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, this is bad. I didn't. Wow. This. Yeah. This is. This is bad. Uh, yeah, this is, this, 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 what the hell was I thinking? Wow, this hurts. <laughs> okay, and then Josh Limbaugh versus Luis Castillo. We're going to go ahead. All right, we got a tie game. Winkler can end, Winker can end it. What a walk off. It's 6-6. Six, six. Came back and scored four runs in the eighth inning. Damn. Hmm. And they won it. 7-6. Wow. They ended up winning it in 7-6. Yep. And weaker homered. It looks like, I guess, Winker, Winker hit that home run after all. Damn. Mm. Damn. That's just, that sucks. Limbaum goes four and two thirds, gives up three runs off of six hits, walk, off of six hits, walks three, and strikes out five. Estevez blew the save and the inning in the third of work, giving up two hits and then a run, which was earned. And then Stroke took the loss when he gave up a run and in two innings of work, but it wasn't an earned run and he walked a guy. That's okay. Um, yeah, I'm not sure how to. Uh, okay, so we have a trade offer from the Cubs, and, well, it's a catcher swap. 
Alex Avilia for for Miguel Amaya. I'm not gonna say I'm not. Well, interesting. I'm not gonna say that I'm not interested because, I mean, he's got good contact versus versus left there versus lefties at sixty. Um, his arm looks like it could use some work, but I mean, you know, it, it, his reaction could use a, he could use a little bit of work. Let's put it that way, and. I think it would help him out. He's done pretty well in the in 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 AAA so far. He's hitting two fifty nine. He's renewable contract all the way up to twenty 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 six. He won't hit true free agency till twenty twenty nine. He doesn't have any corks, but you know he's still young. He's be potential. <sighs> Honestly, I mean. I've, I've been looking to try to get rid of him for a while and because this was another this was just this was just one of those where I, I, I signed him I signed him without paying attention to his batting to his batting stats batting statistics if I had paid attention to his batting statistics I wouldn't have signed him but I signed him anyway, and I just, you know, it came back to bite me. So, after giving it a little bit of thought, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take this. I, I just, I, I see the upside as far as, as far as the future for this kid. So, I want to see. Okay, so they sent. Fuentes back down to triple A. They sent Amaya back down to triple A. And they called up Brendan Rogers. Okay. So. So they called up Brendan Rogers. We've got just Mikel Franco on the majors. Um, I don't know. I'm not sure if I agree with that. Uh, I guess this is part of what happens when you when you when you auto the forty man when you on well when you auto. Uh, called ups and call ups and send downs because you're not exactly sure if you can keep up with it yourself. So yeah. So alright, so what is that gonna do to what is that gonna do to our lineup? Well it's gonna make us have to make a decision on who we want to play their base and honestly I guess that's going to be Bernie and Rogers Freddie Galvis will just play against the lefties. And Brennan Rogers will play against the right handers. Wow. Hmm. Well, hopefully it's worth it. Hmm. Yeah, hopefully. Although I'm not too sure. Yeah, I'm not either. So, we are. You know what, I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to finish this series out. All right, game two against Cincinnati. <clears throat> Sean Doolittle's on the mound. Charlie Blackman's up. 
and we're trying to close it out. So let's see. We end up losing it two to one. Looks like it went to ten. So we'll take a look and see. Uh, fix those. Okay, we got a one run lead with Olbrig. We're in the bottom of the ninth. We've got Tyler Stevenson on with Alex Blandino at the plate. Okay, we won 5-4. Not bad. Nope. Alright, so we picked up the win in the final series. Winning at 5-4. We improved to uh, measly 10-19. We are looking at the St. Louis Cardinals right now. In the next series, they are 19-9. Got John Gant versus Kyle Freeman. Got Carlos Martinez against Herman Marquez. And then Josh Limbaum versus Jack Flaherty. I don't like our odds in this series. I really, 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 really do not like our odds in this series. I just, I don't, I don't like our odds. I mean, I, I, I could be, it could, it could be different, but I'm not sure. I'm just not sure I like our odds. So, yeah. I guess we'll see. So, I'm going to stop this here because I honestly I really did I really do intend on actually playing a series or at least starting a series and I didn't want to just you know make I, I didn't want to just use this as an excuse to skip another month which I'm not trying to do uh, anyway at, as of the end of this we are 10 and 19 and we are going to get ready to start a series against the St. Louis Cardinals in St. Louis. We are still in last place. Uh, but the Dodgers are now in third with three and a half behind San Diego. San Francisco is three back and Arizona is four back. At least, at least we aren't the farthest team back. From front to back. Right now that would be Tampa Bay with ten and a half back. But we're a close second. <laughs> we are a close second. So. That will be the end of this video. Uh, we are 23 days away from the draft. Um, I don't know what position... I think it told me what position I was going to be picking. I just forgot and didn't look. Oh, we're going to be picking number five this year. So, I guess we will see what happens. But anyway, that's going to be the end. That's going to be it for the end of this video. And I do mean it. Uh, we will pick up with... Um, yeah, we'll pick up with, yeah, cause I, I'm, I'm intrigued. I want to see if I can take a game. We'll, so we'll pick up with the St. Louis series, and we'll go from there. And until next time, guys, we will see you later.